The White House confirmed the start of the counter-offensive of the Ukrainian army. The Biden administration officials say the Ukrainian armed forces launched a counter-offensive on June the 5th, but the blowing up of the Kharkovka hydroelectric power station could complicate it. The Washington Post reports, citing its sources in the White House. Biden administration officials believe the offensive began on June the 5th, with Ukrainians pushing south in multiple directions. U.S. officials believe the main goal is to cut the land bridge across southeast Ukraine that connects Russia to its occupying forces in Crimea. The article says, It is noted that part of the strategy of Ukraine is an offensive in several directions in order to be able to transfer forces between them to hit targets with maximum efficiency. Administration officials were buoyed by higher-than-expected gains on June the 5th as Ukrainian units broke through heavily mined areas and advanced 5 to 10 kilometers along parts of the Long Front. This raised hope that Ukrainian forces could continue their advance on Mariupol, Melitopol and other Russian-held locations along the coast by cutting the land bridge. Ukrainian forces have reportedly begun to test Russian positions in the past few days with artillery strikes and ground attacks to find weak spots for a breakthrough. At the same time, officials told CNN that the destruction of the dam at the Kharkovka hydroelectric power station could complicate some of Ukraine's plans. The destruction of the dam could now make it more difficult for Ukrainian forces to cross the Dnieper River and attack Russian positions there, two Western officials said. And the collapse of the dam has already created a serious humanitarian problem that the Ukrainian government will need to address and channel resources.